let me just give you a warning. The second application is the most must have application for Linux users. And that is the star of the show. Hello friends, I'm and today we're going to try two amazing applications. One which is going to help you in your day to day life, manage everything. And the second which is going to help you if you are a content creator or just someone who has worked with images. Well, both of them are. So let's get started. So here I am on my Arch desktop and right now this is Axe OS. I've been currently trying this desktop and yeah, it is pretty amazing, fast, minimal, everything. Well, let's start with the first application which is going to help you in your productive work and especially when you're working with images. The name is Switcheroo. So let's first open some images, for example, these. And now we have three images. All three of them are WebP format, which is mostly not supported in a lot of places. You cannot share these images to anyone else in d 2 Live. You cannot use them properly in DaVinci Resolve or any video editor. So this application allows me to change the format. So let's go with PNG. Then I can change the quality. Let's say I want to upload a thumbnail for my video on YouTube. So it has to be under 2 MBs. So I can decrease or increase the quality. And then I can resize them. For example, we have the ability for pixels and percentage. Right now, all of them are different resolutions. So we're going to not go with pixels. We're going to go with percentage. We can resize them and then resize algorithm default. Now let's just convert it. And let's say I want them in pictures, select and done. Let's check it out. We go with pictures and here we are. All three of them converted. There it is. Converted with the size in decent format. But still, just take a look. This is 8.8 .8 MBs. So what we'll be doing is fix this. Yes, it is high quality, but we're going to fix this. So let's delete these two. Now we have this. Let me just go with pixels. Now let's just not do that. Now all I have to do first is make it PNG and then resize it. For example, right now it says 2048 into 1075. So let me just go to percentage and make it like 85 and convert. Enter. Converting done. And here it is. This time I exported in downloads. So there it is. PNG. And take a look at the size. 3 MBs. As I said, this is indeed an amazing application. And as you can see, the size of the application has also been re reduced. The resolution in particular. So it is pretty useful for a content creator or just anyone who has use of images. Now the second. Let me just give you a warning. The second application is the most must-have application for Linux users. And that is the star of the show. Now, the second application is Planify. This is Planify. Here, you can easily create tasks, to-do lists, and manage them, schedule them, plan your whole day, everything else. And I'm going to start using this application as well. You see, the creator on the Linux experiment also uses this application for everyday use. So, let me just do... One thing, create to do, for example, plan videos. I can schedule it, for example, today and add to do. There it is. And now, as you can see in the today section, I have this and I can schedule them on any of the day. For example, let's say I want to create a video about dash 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 and I want to do it, let's say, on 8th. So I can just put it up there, add the to do, and there it is. When I go to schedule, I can see there it is. It is just so damn easy. And now let me just create a few and show you. So now I have created six to-do list. Three for today and one for tomorrow, one for the day after tomorrow and then one for 8th of July. Now what we also can do is label them. For example, I just click on it. I can add a label. For example, this is for my work. Or you can just create something else as well. For example, content. Enter. And there it is, content. Now I can do the same here as well. I just have to click it here. Add the label. Content. Done. There it is. And let's say I can easily edit these as well. Just click on them. Add label. Content. Add label. Content. And now let's say I want this to be as in work. Done. Now, let me just simplify them. As you can see, there are these labels and now we can actually organize these labels as well. For example, if I want to see what are all my tasks in the content, then here they are. 
along with the day. For example, today, tomorrow, July 7, I have to plan video, shoot the video, edit the video and then upload it. This is the process I have to do in the margin of 3 days. So I have it all here. Let's say one day I plan to do all of it in one day to save time for the next day. So I can do that. And this actually is amazing for organizing stuff. And then you can add different ones as well. For example, this is a project which is like trial. And then I can add another project. For example, my life. I want to use an emoji. Maybe not. Let's just not. Okay, let's just go on with emoji. I want a leaf. This one. Add project. There it is. And now I can easily add all my to-do list tasks. And I can schedule them to be repeated every day. For example, I need to work out. I can schedule them in the repeat for daily. And just done. Just like that. I can add notes. For example, physique. This is so helpful for day-to-day -day work. And especially if you're, if you're just someone who needs an application to organize your everyday work, task, to-do list, life even. And you have a lot of settings to play with. Well, yeah, I do support Planifier. I just don't have enough money to do that. But still, I'm supporting them by creating the video about them. Now you can easily integrate this using different places. For example, Todoist or Nextcloud. And then you can change every part of this application. Even the task settings. Man, these are a lot of them. Then sidebar. We have the pin board as well. Well, just no. Completed. This is also a nice one. So let me just add these. Now it looks fulfilled. Then appearance. We have a dark mode as well. Then which looks like this. Dark mode is nice for someone who likes dark mode. I just prefer light mode. And then quick add. We can easily add anything from anywhere. And then we can reach them, contact them. And yeah, if you want to start fresh, you can easily delete all the data from one click. Nice. So just like that, these sort of applications actually are amazing. And yeah, we can actually add sections as well. For example, a section of work with blue color. Add. There it is, a section. And now I can just easily drag and drop stuff. For example, I'm going to drag and drop them here. Just like that. And I can do anything just like that. Yep, it is just so easy and efficient. And then you can, well, use the board. Okay, this is way better. This board layout. This is good. List one was not so good. Board shall be the default. And we can filter it easy. Let's just check other things. For example, manage section, select, paste, everything. This is just so efficient for anyone who wants to. Like this application is just so efficient for anyone who wants to organize their life, work, task, to-do list right from their Linux setup. Yep, and when you combine that with this operating system, it's just voila. And now with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for more awesome tech videos uploaded on this channel. And I'm a little sick today. So the video is not that long. But yeah, I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm on sign out.